So we're out here fishing Atlantics in eastern Canada. Uh, this is day 11. Fishing's been pretty good, but it's slowing down. Been through this pool twice already this morning. Um, had a few very light grabs, so uh, put a tube fly on with a, uh, an octopus hook hanging off a loop on the back just to see if we can't get some of these short takers just to have a, a nip at it and, and get a hook up. The fish have uh, more or less pulled up. There's not a lot of fresh fish coming in so they're starting to get a little stale. They've seen a lot of flies uh, and probably hence the, the light takes. Um, it's probably also kind of the makeup of this pool uh, it's pretty soft water, pretty slow swing, so they get the opportunity to kind of mouth it without committing to it um, as it comes by. Just kind of going through the gut of the pool right now, it's real, real slow swinging from this side. Actually swings quite a bit better from the other side through this section of the pool. Um, but as we come out of it and, and into the tail out, uh, the swing will improve. And that's likely where we'll uh, touch a fish if we do. Yeah, here, it's already starting to speed up a little bit. We're getting a little bit more speed in the swing. So we're basically for the next, I'd say at least 60 meters or so, we're kind of in the, the sweet spot for the, for the type of fish that we're looking for uh, with this approach. Um, in the tail out, it's a little bit faster water. And I mean, I did get a light grab the, one of the second time through the pool. We'll see. Maybe this fly will uh, will make the difference. Fishing it fairly quickly. It's a big fly, and we've been through the pool a couple of times already. So it's just no reason in uh, trying to pick apart every little boulder. Just move through quick, and if nothing happens, this pass, and we'll move on to another pool somewhere. Well, I'll continue to work my way down the pool here and uh, we'll come back to you once we get down a little bit further. I'm just still trying to get through this gut. Once we kind of get to what I figure the sweet spot is for this technique, uh, I'll come back. So I've uh, worked my way through the gut and it's starting to flatten out here and speed up a bit. So I think if we're gonna touch a fish here, oh, there's those slippery rocks. If we're gonna touch a fish, it's likely gonna be in this next stretch. They're just sitting in their lie in this big, uh, this big tube with a muddler head on it, big deer hair head on it. It's just flopping around. Maybe they'll come up and just take a swipe at it. Like I said before, we'd made a few passes already uh, with more traditional stuff. Uh, this river's got pretty clear water, so we're fishing mostly four and six uh, singles <clears throat> in a few kind of local uh, color patterns. Uh, but yeah, basically more or less traditional, very traditional uh, East Coast salmon flies. Um, and most of the fish have come in those. It's, like I said, it's just after we've made a few passes and had a few light poles, it's now time to just change it up a bit and show them something different and just see if we can get a, a different result, get them to commit to the fly a little bit better. And this fly, I mean, it's a, it's a fair size. It's probably three inches in length, but uh, the deer hair head on it is uh, is significant. It's a, it's a big, big muddler head on it, 
just to push some wa push some water and uh, and just give it some erratic movement, just to give it a totally different kind of action and profile than uh, what the fish have been seeing. Okay, here we go. So now we're finally getting to the speed change. Oh, there's a fish just showed in the back there, her little grills. But, uh, yeah, now we're starting to get into the, like I said, the speed where I think we can, we can get into a fish here. It's still a little slow when I, uh, when I turn the camera back on. It's just those subtle differences that make all the difference with this type of fishing. And here we go. It's it's picking up even better now. As we move forward, um, it'll it'll generate speed all the way to the end. It'll be essentially accelerate all the way to the tail out. Um, and certainly there are fish in the tail out, but it's kind of pre-tail out um, that I'm most interested in at the moment. And I think if this is going to happen, it's going to happen in the next 10 casts or so. So we're starting to enter kind of the transition from... I, oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, we got a hot one, finally. So that fish, uh, just as I was trying to say, we're just entering the transition from what I would describe as kind of the flat to, to the tail out, and that's exactly where he was in that transition period, where the speed just kind of changed over. She's not a real big fish by the looks of it, but she is silver. She is a fresh one. Fresh? Yeah. She, she, she took off pretty early in the fight. She's given up a little bit now, but she definitely started a little hotter than some of these fish have. Just be careful until she gets her head sitting right. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Careful, careful, careful. There. I'm going to... Yep. Oh. Oh, oh, yep. There you go. All right. All right. Nice freshy. Nice bright fish. Beauty, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that crow in that sunlight. Yeah, yeah. You could tell right from the get-go she was a she was a fresh fish. Okay. You ready? Yeah. The chrome bullet. Thank you, honey. Oh yeah, she had lots left. Hold on, sir. Giddy up. That it does. Thank you, thank you.